My name's Duddits, I love builds and stuff. Just watch this subjudicator's health, it gets absolutely wrecked. You'd think I was using the microcosm, I'm not. I'm using the brand new origin trait, photo inhibition from the Garden of Salvation raid. This perk is a bit underrated, you know, it's quite new. But it also does massive damage against anti-barrier shields and all shielded enemies. And it also disorientates, which makes it really good for this type of situation. And really good for subjudicators as they're coded as shielded. I've actually got this on a couple of guns, Prophet of Doom. But the one I'm going to be focusing on today was if, I've just made a video on this, the Zealot's Reward. I've got Attrition Orbs and Control Best, which is a really good roll for this one. I can go lead from Gold Control Best if you like. But Photo Inhibition, this weapon deals bonus damage to combatant shields and targets with overshields. Breaking a combatant shield disorientates them. Breaking an energy match shield also disorientates nearby combatants. This is what it actually does. Passively increases damage against shielded enemies. 34.3% against PvE combatant elemental shields and anti-barrier champion shield. 21.6 against PvE combatant overshields. And a 15.6 increase against player overshields. Breaking a PvE combatant shield disorientates them for we don't know how many seconds. I think it's about 4 or 5. Other enemies within a certain meters are also disorientated if the weapon matches the shield's element. Now, if you just watch this subjudicator's health in the dual destiny, these are coded with a shield, as we know, a little bit like the microcosm. Microcosm deals increased damage because that has shield breaking, uh, sh sh extra shield damage capabilities. Same as this photo inhibition pack from the Garden of Salvation. And once you've got that going, a bit of weakening on top of that, some of something, or even like Radiant, You've got some really nice melting capabilities for these subjudicators. As I said, they are coded as they've got shielded all the time. And you can see it absolutely wrecks. A couple of these clips are on my own, and this is two of us. And just look at that, it gets absolutely destroyed. Now, this is just me on my own. My friend was literally just helping me stay alive a little bit in this situation. You can see he's just taking chunks off every blast. Now, the other thing that's really cool with this just the disorientating, it sort of reminds me of the shield disorient pack back from a few seasons ago, actually a few years ago. It states here, you can actually disorientate enemies, whether it's a matched element or an unmatched element. If you destroy a matched element, say a void on void, it's going to disrupt that target and around the area. So, for example, this solar knight, I've got a void fusion, disorientates him, it will disorientate just the solar knight. But if you destroy a void shielded enemy with the void shielded uh, weapon, it will disorientate the enemy and anything else around that target. So it is really, really cool. A really nice little perk with everything working together. And just doing extra damage against shields and disorientating. I think it's a really good origin trait that's been added. Uh, just a few more clips of this fusion rifle doing a bit of work. Like I said, I put control burst on there with attrition orbs. But you could always run lead from gold, that's probably a popular option. I love attrition orbs, but there you go. But loads of damage when it's just one or two of you. And save some ammo for your microcosm for dual destiny. Now, again, don't forget you can get anti barrier with volatile or radiant, and it one blasts this anti barrier champion. Look at that. And this was in the hardest difficulty loss sector, and that was with volatile or radiant. You make yourself anti barrier, don't forget weapons. Easily smashes him. That's the extra damage. 30% against shielded enemies. And quick clip of the Prophet of Doom working. Uh, shotgun, as we'd expect. It's a one bang against shielded enemies, especially anti-barrier. With it being anti-barrier shotgun. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.